What is up, YouTube? Samurai Jack back for another Let's Play of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duos of the Roses. In the last part, we easily defeated Joey, which was a bit weird. Was hoping for a long battle. Anyways, thanks to thanks to a tip from King Custom, I managed to level up Mana of the Aqua to Colonel ranking for the ability increased strength for same type friendlies, which will help. And I also modified the deck a little so it's not as overpowered. Alright, so now it's face Shoddy. Who again has apparently been given the Jinx treatment in this game. Pretty sure most Pokemon fans know this, what I meant by that. Like how Jinx was originally black, but, you know, due to... Some people thinking Jinx was a racist, they changed it to purple. Anyway, at last we may do this. <laughs> you have soiled the ruse of justice with your betrayal. Your mind lacks the seeds of truth. I judge you unworthy and will punish you here and now, should the power of your mind prove weak. You are destined to fall before me. He actually mush. Yeah, that was from the Abridged series. But yeah, oddly enough, it's not a 500 power boost, because look, 2,400. Last time I checked, it's supposed to be uh, 2,500, but oh well. And the uh, Shadi's deck leader is the Millennium Golem, and, and ho a whole bunch of abilities more than me. Man, I wish I had extended support range for mine. Maybe. If I level up higher. And yeah, one thing noticeable. A giant X of crush field. And yeah, creatures with 1500 or above will instantly die. Yeah, at least with the uh, both the same type friendlies and the uh, main of the aqua boost, my creatures are now in the three thousands. And now all we gotta do is wait for Roy Ocean Snaker. I believe I went right in here to change the crush to ocean. Let's see, you got Suijin. Man, so he just now the equivalent of Obelisk the Tormentor. With an extra 400 point boost.
Oh yeah, and Charlie's not just using rocks, also pyros, some fiends, and some wing base. But thankfully, Psychic Kappa here can go through the crush terrain. Alright, so next turn I'll be close to Second Kappa, but we can't see what he does for an attack in the crush terrain. Basically a hydro pump. And it kind of doesn't... And it kind of is a coincidence Second Kappa kind of looks like a Ludicolo line. Well, not exactly, but you know, the beak, the hair... Ah, oh, dang it, forgot. Raise Man is a light, and, and it spell binds all my water monsters. Bring a rebirth! No, can't put that on Psychic Cop or else he will die. I already got a Red Sea Snake and there's a third one in my deck somewhere. Along with three Roaring Ocean Snakes. Dark Magician Girl, but... Uh, eh. Bikimi. You know, at this rate, I may as well. Uh. 
That way next turn I can help power up Psychic Kappa. But yeah, my memory's drawn to break blank, but I kind of forgot if I forgot to thank King Custom, who gave me the tip on trying to level up me in the Aqua to get the same type friendly. Either way, thanks, dude. Anyways, Hydro Pump! It's super effective! And Psychic Kappa is laughing happily about it. Right, then draw a new hand. And there's my third growing. There's my third red. Giant red sea snake. But yeah, now Sui Jin is the equivalent of Owl's the Tormentor. Even with a lack of defense by 100. I'll save the Springer Rebirth for my Roaring Ocean Sink if it ever comes out. But in the meanwhile, I'm gonna dump my Turtle Bird for a more of another to give up to my Fairy of the Fountain. I'll either wait for Roaring Ocean Sink, Violent Rain, or if uh, memory serves me if I have a still have a Fury Sea King in my deck. Oh no, a fusion. A double fusion. Wait a minute, common army attack. Okay, so. And Hannibal Necromancer may come in attack. Fused with Stone D. I don't know, because I'm not sure if you can make a uh, Twin Head Thunder Dragon with that combo. 
Perfect! I intentionally wanted that card to hit the Curse Breaker. Okay, that's weird. He took out his fusion. Crimson Sunburn would have been good. And he got rid of his Molten Behemoth to get rid of it. Molten Behemoth basically has the same ability as Man of the Aqua. I don't know. Finally, about time. Question is, is it a replace? Next turn, gonna flip them over to turn these two crushes into. Ocean. Hold on, I'll be right back. My mod just came here. You get that just technical difficulty. It was actually my stepdad. Oh well. Try and end this now. Oh yeah, crap! Psychic cop is gonna die now. Oh well, at least that bright side that'll make room for an extra monster. Sorry, psychic cop, but oh wait, haha, -ha, loophole. Wow! Spirit of the Books against the 5200 Fairy of the Fountain. be over now. Yep, that's it.
Oh yeah, and something I kind of noticed with Mayo and the Aqua, with Mayo and the Aqua and the murals in the background, they actually left out the Japanese art for water omotics, which if you look it up, you'll see why it kind of got censored. Or at least, you know, pause this video. Ah, what do you know? Second Kappa has been promoted. Alright, let's see what we can get. Uh, wait, for some reason I see Zoe in there. Moan Behemoth. Ah! Dang it, Invader from another dimension, which is basically a recovering of basic insect. Yeah, it made me lose my chance at lining up the um, Moan Behemoth. It would seem that always lost, but such is not the case. I've only just begun. Do you think you power enough in your mind to face me? I just faced you. All right, next up is uh, Yugi's grandpa, whose name is Jasper Dice Tutor, and another nitpick. Why make more sense to make it? Have it be Duke, you know, because he made Dungeon Dice Monsters, there's dice in his name, oh well. We'll face him in the next part of Yu-Gi-Oh! Do it to the Roses. Bye.